Good morning. Hopefully it's still morning out there. You know, the first thing I'm going to do today is to thank you for allowing me to marry the woman who has shared my life for more than 23 years in January of this month in California. Thank you, California. I can say from now on that California has fundamentally changed my life. And I, I do appreciate that. You know, I was going to start my speech with uh, some jokes about Texas Republicans. And yeah, but you've already seen Rick Perry, so I don't have to say a word. <laughs> Let me tell you what I don't know. I, you know, they tell you never to start a speech with things you don't know. I'm going to tell you what I don't know. I don't know anything about California politics. That's not why I'm here. Don't know much about LA. Let me tell you what I do know. I do know how Democrats in red states can win elections. I do know how people who care and who are willing to do the right thing can make things happen. So let me thank you for a second thing, and that is for standing up for my transgendered brothers and sisters, our kids, to make sure they're safe in school. Actually, it wasn't what I was going to talk about in this speech today, but I've been a lesbian activist for 40 years, and it's hard to break a habit. It's all kind of, I have bad habits too, but that's, I think, a pretty good one. And I have been t saying for 40 years there is no such thing as a gay agenda. But I'm here to tell you that that is not true. There is a gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender agenda, and I'm going to tell you what it is. We want to be able to go to school in safety. We want to be able to serve our country honorably. We want to work at jobs we love so that we can pay taxes to the country that sustains us. And we want to protect the relationships and families that nurture us. That is the gay and lesbian, bisexual, and transgender agenda. So I said I was going to tell you how Democrats get elected in, in red states, how a woman gets elected mayor of Houston, how a lesbian gets elected mayor of Houston. We get elected through ideas, energy, and hard work. And frankly, that is how Wendy Davis is going to become the next governor of the state of Texas. Y'all clearly have the energy. Y'all clearly have the energy. And we know Democrats support the working men and women of this country, so we understand hard work. So let's talk a little bit about ideas and how we reclaim ideas, acknowledge ideas that we know win in red states. We are the party of faith, we are the party of family, and we are the party of freedom. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise. <laughs> Come on now, we, somehow we let, we let Republicans talk about those things. We are the party of faith. Whether you worship God in a church or a synagogue or a temple or a mosque or out under the blue sky, or you have no faith at all, we respect that, we honor that, and we trust you to make those decisions and we don't tell you how to worship God. That is a party of faith. We also have faith in the American public. We have faith in Americans to make right and righteous decisions. And we certainly have faith in women and the decisions they make with their own bodies. We are the party of family. We are about family values because we value all families, not just select families, not families that look a certain way. We value families however they, they are composed, whether they are 
two moms and two dads or one dad and one mom, whether those parents are documented here in the United States or not, we value all families. That is the definition of family values, and we need to talk about that. And we are the party of freedom. Freedom from fear of differences, freedom from fear of the future, freedom to make personal choices about our lives, and freedom to come together as Americans to work for a better community. Family, freedom, faith, all are democratic values. We need to claim them, we need to own them, we need to talk about them. That's how I won in Houston, and that is how Democrats win in red states. And again, those kind of issues are going to carry Wendy Davis to victory in Texas. Now, I'm going to give you an assignment, and I won't be here to see whether you carry it out. This kind of how I deal with my kids. This is about trust, but I'm going to give you an assignment that I expect you to carry out. But first, I want you all to think back to one of the first things that every child learns. What's the first word that a child really, really enjoys using? Yeah, some of you said, Mom, uh-uh. It's no. I heard it. No. And what is the second thing after no? It's mine. Mine. Some of you have not had kids, I can tell. It's no, and it is mine. And it's that second word that I want to talk about now. I want to hear you say, this party is mine. Come on, help me here. This party is mine. Say it again, mine. Mine. If you own something, you want to talk about it. If you own something, you want people to know it. One of the things that is wrong with Democrats is that we talk to other Democrats. Actually, that's not a bad thing. But it doesn't grow our party, and it doesn't change our country in the way that needs to be changed. We don't just talk to people who agree with us. We need to own the great ideas that Democrats have, and we cannot let that conversation stop with Democrats. This is our party. We are proud of it. We own it. We want to talk about it. We must evangelize for the party. We must talk about the great things that Democrats are doing. You know, I. I tell you again, the, the, the echo chamber is a, is a trap. We want, we, obviously, none of us here watch Fox News or listen to much talk radio unless we want our blood pressure to go up. But I'm not telling you to tune into the news media. I'm telling you to own this party and have the conversations in the lunchroom, at the line at the grocery store, at the water cooler at work with your neighbors over the back fence, at the PTA meeting. We need to own this party and talk about this party and share this party and the good news of the Democratic Party with everyone we meet, not just with Democrats. Because we are a party of ideas, we are a party of our energy, we are a party of hard work. People understand that and respect that, and for the same reasons, that I won, that Wendy's going to win, we can win all across the country with just that simple thing. So here's your assignment. Every one of you in here, in the next month, I want you to do something very, very simple. I want you to start a conversation with someone that you don't know is a Democrat and say, I'm really proud that I am a Democrat, and here is something that you may not know about the Democratic Party and see what happens. And I want you to do that not once, not twice, but three times in the next month.
How many of you can do it? Come on. Oh, every hand in here better be up. So what are we going to do? We're going to have conversations. And what are we going to say about this party? This party is mine. Thank you very much. <laughs>